Hey, how's it going? Today, we're gonna to be taking a look into Magic Cosmetics. Now, the reason this plugin has been in my radar for quite a while is due to the sheer amount of other plugins that play really well with it from the developer himself. So if this plugin is up to standard, I probably will showcase those as well, primarily because when multiple plugins can link properly and perform great actions within the server, hey, that's a win-win. However, for this one, primarily keeps on the cosmetic side with a few little features here and there that really make it shine over the rest. I'm gonna get over all the features here and everything you need to know. We're gonna hop into config later, but for now, here are some really nice features from it. Item matter support, Oryx Zen, model engine, TR menu, and placeholder API with citizen support as well. So these are all really good to be added, especially when you're in the texture pack slash resource pack community, it is important to have these features. But we're gonna get straight into the commands and things that you can do with this. All this of course comes with a texture pack you can download through the Discord. But if we do slash MC cosmetics, this menu will appear. Here you can see all the available cosmetics for the players. You can also add this per permission base. This is of course, EULA friendly. So it's a great way to both benefit your servers and allow something for your community to show that you care. So here we do have hats, backpacks, canes, and balloons. The balloons I really do like. And of course, I do like the hats primarily because as soon as you click this, I, I'm not a big fan of the sound effects though. But however, my hot dog. I, I don't know why this one so far is my favorite. I would, however, suggest putting it in the backpack category though, due to headgear being able to simply follow the head and really ruined immersion but hey it's still an amazing cosmetic it comes free with the actual plugin so if we go back into the actual menu we can click it again and this will just disable it still not a fan of the sound effect it sounds like a dying chicken but all this of course is changeable we also have a mexican hat that you can actually pick the color so if i go ahead and just pick a green one but going into the menu of course you can disable it i uh, will go ahead and just enable it again i really do need to change these sound effects you can't stack multiple hats but you can have backpacks enabled at the same time for example i can have this banner backpack and i could select a tint as you can see it'll change here i'll go ahead and choose a cyan one because why not so i can click here and it's technically on my back with a huge sombrero i'm actually going to disable it and i'll put on a hot dog instead oh god the stuff i do Going to the canes, here you can go ahead and select either a big head, which, oh, I don't even know what I'm, this outfit is anymore. Essentially, this is an offhand item, either if you are left-handed, that's going to be in your right hand, if you're right-handed, that's going to be in your left hand. But I can go ahead and choose this magic cane. This one is, of course, changeable with the tint, so I can keep that white. I'll go ahead and pick cyan and select that. So this will be on my offhand simply as cosmetic. You can see that on, on first person and in third person as well. So going back into the cosmetics end, we can select the final thing, which is a balloon. We got a hot air, another hot air. What is the, oh, all right. Well, here we go. This one is just a hot air and this one is one that rotates. And this is a really big balloon. Let's just try the first one. You can, again, select the tint. I'll select this one. And this is again, completely separate. But why not? Let's go ahead and see the rotating one. We can just click here. This time I'll go ahead and pick purple. And that is way too busy for me. I will just select the big one. Works a bit better. I look like a hot dog wizard about to go on war. Nonetheless, I'm gonna go ahead and just disable all of them. And it works just like that. However, one disclaimer I will say, if you try to remove any of the cosmetics in creative mode, it will glitch as this is primarily made for survival base players. There are some more commands such as M cosmetics. If I ever do say MC cosmetics, it's my bad. But we can do add all and then the player name and what this will do is add every single cosmetic available on the server to that player in addition you could just add a singular one you could do hide all as well and that will hide all the cosmetics for that player as well and unequip will unequip any cosmetic last but not least a nice feature that i do like is token give and then here we can do token one two three etc let's go ahead and do token seven and here as you can see it is a dino token redeem a dino spray. And that is something I completely forgot. There is a spray menu right here, which you can click and click. For example, I can click on dino spray if I wanted to, and I could enable that. But if you actually need to redeem the token, all you need to do is cosmetics, open token. And here you can redeem the dino token for the dino spray. Again, this is the same thing. You'll get the cosmetic for whatever token you have, and that can be easily changeable simply by the number of the token. 
And again, this is all going to be in a configuration, which we will go on later. But there is one more feature that I really do like with this plugin. And in order to show you, we're going to have to set it up together. This is super easy, though. We're going to start with cosmetics zones add. And then here we can give it a name. Let's just call it. We're just going to call this one Ted. And then it will give us this little stick. All we need to do is select the four corners of our zone. So for this one, I'm going to pick the top left corner and then I'll go diagonally across and select the bottom right corner. So then after that, I can just go ahead and cover all this up because it will not matter anymore. And I can do cosmetics zones and I can set up the NPCs. So this is the NPC that you're going to see with your cosmetics. So we're going to do cosmetic zones set NPC. And for this one, we're going to do Ted. Now we need to do is set up the balloon as well. I'll just do it up here. We can do the same thing, replacing set NPC to set balloon. And we're going to do one more for set spray, which is the spray cosmetic. So we're going to do set spray and Ted. And we got all the general cosmetics all set up. Now we just need to do is set where we want the player to be seen from the first pers from a perspective. So you're going to be seeing. So in order to better visualize it, you're going to be seeing your player wearing a cosmetic here and you're going to be seeing it from this perspective right here. For that, we need to do cosmetics zones set enter and then again the name. So we're going to be seeing this exact perspective when we enter and then out here we're going to do cosmetic zone set exit and of course the name after that we can just do one final thing which is cosmetic zones enable and then your name so this one was ted and we're essentially done i can remove all this from my inventory and as soon as i walk in it's simple as that there is some boss bars on the top punch to open catalog sneak to leave the wardrobe so if i actually did sneak right now it'll put me back into the perspective and exactly where we set it up. So entering again, here's that perspective I was talking about. I can't move my camera at the moment, but I can see my player. If I go ahead and punch, or in this case, left click, I can see all the cosmetics and I can enable it right here in the menu or disable it as well. Just like that, it's super simple. I really do like this effect and being able to see what your player is going to look like before actually sending him out into the world. As you can see as well, the balloon works exactly where we set it up to showcase, just so it doesn't interfere with the actual player, as this is not even your player, it's just an NPC that's showcasing you. However, this looks amazing, but let's check out the config. Here's all the files within the plugin. And of course, if you ever do need a server, make sure to check out Revive Node, starting at a dollar per gigabyte. You can start your very own Minecraft server today, add this plugin in there, just play with friends, it's really up to you. Use my promo code to get 15% off. All you need to do is type in diamond in all caps and you are all set to go. So I'll leave a link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out. However, we're going to go ahead and go into the config and just see what's in here. Pretty straightforward. You can change simple things such as apparently the license, which I did not need to do for any reason. Maybe it's a feature in the future. I can't be certain of. However, there is the balloon rotation, the NPC rotation, the equip message, if you want it to show or not, save and save on quit, and just general things that you want to do, such as world blacks this as well. So if you don't ever want players to use cosmetics in certain worlds, you can do that. There's also the cooldown for the spray. I didn't really show the spray, but there you go on video right now is exactly what it does. Just puts a really nice spray on a wall. And of course, just my scale support, which is super handy, especially when you want to ensure that your server is stable and the cosmetics can go from one to another quite easily. The main menu category, for example, is a hat. So that's the first thing you're going to see. However, we can go into the back to the folder and here we can change all the messages. Here we have all the menus, sound effects as well, which to me is one of the most important things because I would highly suggest changing the on click cosmetic from entity chicken dev to something else, please. Maybe just a ding, just an idea. Here you have all the tokens, so you can change the name of the token. So for token one, it would have been the Mexican hat. Token two would have been the creeper token. So this one would have been the creeper backpack. I didn't show it, but it was a cosmetic option. But of course you can set it to whatever name you want and this will be the token provided to your players if you just wanna give that to them. So it could be a physical item which they can enable or give to friends however they please. Last thing, let's check out the cosmetics. Here you can see hat one and then it is the permission for it, the item. So this will be a Mexican hat, the display name. The item will be material of leather horse armor, the lore. It's very Mexican. 
Jesus. Unbreakable, true or not, if it glows and it can hide attributes. So always, I always make sure to hide attributes. You don't want to see a bunch of information. The model data ID for your custom item, the color, if it's colored or not, and hide in the menu and what type it is. So this right here is going to represent where it goes within the menus and if it overlaps. So for example, if I scroll the way down here, you can see type walking stick, which is the player head, which is going to be a offhand cosmetic and you can just change it wherever you feel fit. So you can set up all your cosmetics within this one single file, which I do love. But there you have it. That's the plugin right there. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you want to see any other ones and I will, and I'll make sure to read it in the comment section below. Other than that, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'm Diamond and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.